Hi guys, uh, welcome to the channel. Um, I finally got round to doing another part. Unfortunately, I've been uh, laid off with a bit of a bad back and uh, not to mention work as well. I've been uh, pretty busy, thankfully, because I'm a freelancer. So <laughs> in the middle of a pandemic, being a freelancer can be a bit tough. And I guess being anybody can be tough in a pandemic. Uh, it's not just me. But uh, anyway, I hope everybody's holding up well. Um, and uh, and everybody's healthy and uh, and getting through this okay. So finally, I got this uh, new uh, instalment in, and the reason is because of uh, well, what's down here basically. I finally managed to get this uh, painted up. Let's put it in the light. So I finally painted, and uh, I'll show you some pics of it um, freshly painted out in the garden with uh, with the sunlight on it. But it actually didn't look too bad here with these little LEDs. So yeah, it's not looking too shabby. A few little blemishes, which uh, I think I'm gonna get away with a light buffing. So, you know, I try to, to do these, uh, to do these paint jobs as cleanly as possible uh, so that I can just get away with a light buffing. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So, you know, just to retain as much of that natural shine as possible from the lacquer. So uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much uh, as far as we've got. The cockpit is done and uh, the bodywork is, well, at least lacquered. Uh, it just needs uh, some of the small detailing, which we'll get on with a little bit later on. So anyway, thanks for tuning in and uh, let's get on with the video.
try enough Would you feel my missing piece? I can't understand why I misunderstand my own desire If I carry on, then what I know is wrong The color's bleeding You understand the heart of me You know the deepest part of me You've got some kind of technical love I carry on my flies to see But you never run away from me You've got some kind of technical love I'm running towards the atmosphere I'm running towards 
that just about wraps up part four. Thanks for making it this far. And if you haven't subscribed, then maybe you'd like to uh, consider doing so. It would certainly help move the channel along and uh, be a great motivation to do more kits. So part five is going to be engine and gearbox. That should give the lacquer on the body to enough time to cure. And uh, I think I'm probably going to end up sanding it and giving it a good, uh, a good old polish. So thanks again for your support and uh, also for the many comments. I'm doing my best to reply to everyone I can. So please keep them coming and I will see you all in part five. Thanks, bye.